Hey guys, this is Chris Cox here for another guitar lesson. Had a lot of requests for this one, and it comes from my second favorite band of all time. You guys know me, I'm a huge KISS fan, so KISS is my first favorite band. But my second favorite band of all time is RAT. So we're going to do Lack of Communication off the Out of the Cellar album. Uh, this tune was written by Stephen Piercy and Juan Crucier, and I believe Robin Crosby played the guitar solo on this tune. So I've had this album, gosh, probably close to 30 years. I never broke the seal on it. And I actually have the Rat EP and Dancing Un Undercover sealed as well. So I just didn't have the heart to open them up. And plus I had them on CD, so I kind of wanted to keep them in this nice mint condition. But um, the tuning for this is going to be drop D. So the low E is tuned to D, but everything else, your A, D, G, B, and high E is going to be tuned to standard. So let's break out... Lack of communication, rat. So let's play this opening riff slowly. Okay, so let's talk about the chords first. So, um, basic bar chords, uh, we're going to be playing our power chords. We're going to play in a D5, which is going to be 5th fret of the A, 7th fret of the D. Play in a C5, 3rd fret of the A, 5th fret of the D, and an A5, which is open A string, and then 2nd fret of the D. In between that, you're going to be playing the open low E string, which is tuned down to D. So that's an 8th note pattern. So it starts off with... So just one strum down on the D5 till we switch to the C5. Then to the A5, repeats again. We stop that. C5 there and then do a and I'm not fret you know I'm not actually picking that note I'm just basically putting pressure on the string and then sliding all the way up the neck and back down on the low E and then we go back into the main riff where the verse would start. So let's talk about that. So the verse, we start here, we're going to be barring across the third fret of the low E and A string. So we have a... Stretch out. Now you could do two things here. There's two guitars in the song, obviously. So one guitar player is going. Now I like doing the uh, this way. I like being able to hold that note, that chord, and then I grab and then I slide up. But you could also do this. You could hit. that way. So I'll show you both ways. So you're going to bar across, again, the low E and A string. We're going to hit those two strings together, and then we're going to go stretch down here. You're going to have your middle finger here on the fifth fret of the D. Pinky finger is going to be on the seventh fret of the G, so I know that's a big stretch. Then, so we, we hit, this is, this is also a power chord, so it be a G5. So in between that, I'm coming back to the low E, and then I'm sliding to the F5. So that's going to be 3rd fret of the D, 5th fret of the G. So Or 
or you could do a just hold this out and then do the eighth note. Oops. Okay, so let's talk about that little uh, riff there before we get back into the main lick. So once we do this, we're going to play this. Now that's just again we're barring across the low E and A string and we're going to go 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 1st fret, and then open E. the pre-chorus so we're going to come back down here again low E and A string barred across the fifth fret and we're going to play this So we come back down and we're going to play the similar to what we played earlier, but we're just going to shift everything down a couple frets. So we're barring across the fifth fret of the low E and A. So we hit. So we're, you know, kind of going back and forth from this A5. So that's the seventh fret of the D, ninth fret of the G. And we're holding on to that, you know, fifth fret low E there. So we're doing. We're going to slide this chord to the fifth position. So you're going to have D, fifth, fifth fret, and then G, and then we're going to play this. So you're up here at the third fret of the low E and A. Now from there, all we're doing is this word. Hanging on that uh, G5, and then we're ending there with the 5th fret of the D and G, so we have Now we're going to go to the D5 power chord, and then we're going to play this. So that's going to be D, C5, back to the 3rd fret of the low E and A string. And then you do this little back again. And then from there we do a... And then we're back into the same riff that we learned earlier. So that is pretty much all the rhythm guitar part. It's time to go over Robin Crosby's guitar solo. So this is a short little solo but fits the tune perfectly. So we're going to start here on the 15th fret of the high E and we're doing a big full bend. So once I bring that full bend up I'm kind of just rocking the note back and forth to get that little bit of a, I guess it'd be kind of like a microtone. I don't think it's really even a half step apart. So it's, and then you do another bend. So after you do that up and down, you know, kind of rocking the note, you do another. But you're going to keep pressure on that note so you can bring it all the way up and bring it back down. We're going to go here to the 13th fret of the high E and then the 15th fret of the B. 
We have this so far. And then you're just gonna let that note trail out. And then we go. So we're sliding into this 12th fret of the D string. We'll come here to the 10th fret of the G. And then back to the 12th fret of the D. And then we're going to grab 12 of the G, and then back to the 10th fret of the G, but we're going to do a little bend. And then back to the D, so. So it's just a quick little pull down of the, of the G string. So all together it's going to sound like this. and it goes back into the next verse. So I wanted to talk just a little bit about how the tune ends and of course the rhythm guitar underneath the solo in case you just want to play the rhythm. The rhythm we've already learned so when you get to the you know um then the solo starts back to that same riff again. And then you go into the next verse. So at the very end of the tune, that's pretty much, you know, you're chorusing out. So you're just, you know, you're just churning away at that original riff we learned. And that's, that's the entire tune. So this is a